right now, I'll show you guys one pass. So the problem is like every time the guy is playing guard here, I see like during these days, everyone wants to pass standing. I don't know why. I don't know why people just want to pass in their feet like this. So when I do this, I give a space for him to do De La Riva. I give a space for him to do Inver De La Riva. I give a space for him to do Spider Guard. So I give a space to the guy like to do many, many things. I give options to him. Especially if you fight against someone who likes to scramble, you know, or who likes to do one leg X or X guard. You know, every time you're standing, like it's easy for the guy to, to, to do the things on you, right? And I see like lots of people, they got this position a lot. Everyone wants to start from here to pass. So when I start from here to pass, I, I need to make sure I don't give you space to the guy. Just in doing this, I'm already giving space to the guy. Because he can go with the hand inside and start doing the kiss of the drag or whatever. Or do the last on my arm here. Boom, and then start like, you know, give him a headache here. So, when you hear the way for you to kill the scrambles of the guy is putting these knees on the floor. This knee on the floor. I just like, put my knee on the floor here. That's it. So now he cannot scramble, he can do nothing here. The only thing he can do is like being upside down. You know, like when he starts to do upside down, like a helicopter sweep. But I have this hand right here to block the guy. You know, this is it. So what I like to do from here, I like to go with my hand outside of his knee, right here. Okay? And then I, I will grab his belt. Okay? Because that way it's harder for the guy to set up a spider, spider guard, like try to put a foot on my bicep. So he can't. So if I give my, leg, my hand is free here, put the foot on my bicep, he starts to put the foot on the bicep, and now it'll be hard for me to do something. So in the moment I put my knee on the floor, I go with my hand outside and grab his belt. Just like this. So now I grab the belt. If he doesn't have the belt, I'll grab the, the pants or the gi, okay? So now he cannot do the, the spider guard here anymore. So I close his space. So now I'm gonna do, I will go and jump with my biceps, okay? I jump my biceps inside his leg. I start to adjust here, okay? So this part of my biceps, right on the elbow, needs to be connected with his shin. Okay, so I go here. If I need to use this hand to adjust, I can do it. I just drive his, his leg like this and then adjust. So now look, I bite his leg with my, with my arm. So now I'm here. Try to use the leg of this He cannot use the leg. So now I just stretch. This hand goes on the leg, pinch my knee. So now I'm close. So now I start to go to the side, jump the hook, and then pass, start to pass the guard. Okay, so now I'm here, I like to get my hand this way, and then pass this guard, okay? Or you can grab the head if the guy lets you grab the head. So again, so you go here, it stands like you stay standing, okay? You're gonna put your hand outside and drop your knees to the floor. I put my toes like this on the floor like to close the space. So I grab the belt, okay? As I grab the belt, I can adjust with my hand. One, two. See, I stretch my, my arm and I bite his leg with my bicep, okay? So now I'm here. Now he cannot use his leg anymore. Now I just put the pressure. My shoulder goes on the guy. The other thing really common, people do this. On this position, they try to jump like this. But the guy follow you. You know? I like to pinch my whole knees, stretch his leg, and I jump the hook first. So just jump the hook, and now his leg over my, my leg. Also, don't put this knee on the floor, ever. You put the knee on the floor, have no pressure on the guy. So keep your knee off the floor, okay? Right here. So now I start to grab his head, boom, and then stabilize the side control. Keep controlling here. The guy will be moving in the beginning for five seconds, ten seconds, and then little by little he stop moving, and then he let go, and then get the right side control. Okay? So another detail is, you know. 
and it's like I'm here. I put my knees on the floor, grab the belt. Okay, so as I grab the belt, I adjust. Okay, and it's like sometimes this knee, the guy have a long leg, this knee is outside here, and people try to do this. Okay, so if I do this, you do the keyboard, go to the emergency. Okay, so you gotta be careful there. So what I like to do is I keep my biceps on the guy so I can hide. I don't give a, a hole or space between my, his arm and my arm and his leg. So I connect here. So now what I need to do, I need to make a hook on his leg. Okay, I'll make a hook here. So when I make a hook, I stretch. Okay, so now his knee is stretched, so now his knee is underneath. Okay, instead I put the hand here, so I do this and then I just pinch my knee, jump the hook, pass the guard. If I need to do this, I'll do this. Then start passing the guard. I have to come with this hand and grab his belt and keep this hand right here. Just to stop his bridge, to torso me. Yeah, stretch the guy. I don't let his knee come here. Here or here, okay? 